Okay, I'm recording this a little bit out of sequence, but this is repair to, uh, this is a external rotor motor from a fan. It's a, a Vortex style, sometimes they're called. This one's made by, um, the motor's made by a Swiss company called CEBI. And the fan, I think the sheet metal and the rest of it is uh, made by a Quebec company called uh, Atmos 5. Here's the nameplate. So this is a VTX 800 nominal 8 inch fan, but uh, yeah, minimal power. This is 140 watts here. These tend to last really well. I feel like on the on the motor case we had specs. Where are they? Is that it? Maybe that'll focus enough. There we go. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's a pretty cool little, this is, yeah, 0 0.14 kilowatts or 140 watts. So internal windings, external rotor, so stator is uh, this portion mount like that spindle runs through supported by a couple bearings and chained by a sword clip not too difficult to get apart but thanks to uh, another person on youtube whose name escapes me but who uh, took one of these apart and uh, showed me how in this case the fan got really dirty it also uh, drank some water uh, and had destroyed the bearings here uh, that's the better of the two old bearings, I believe. A couple new bearings. It also chewed up the shaft. And so what I did with this is the old shaft. It chewed up the two places where the bearings ride on it and uh, also got heat damage. So I found a similar piece of round stock. I'll show you that in a second and uh, made it Press the old one out, press the new one in, cut a couple little grooves for the retaining sir clips, and now I'm going to press these bearings into the stator. There you go. That'll support it nicely on the ring around the bearing. And then this one is sized to push on the outer half. Okay, rotor, meet stator. These two uh, wave spring washers, and then rotor, oh, then stator, and then in this case it was two more wave springs. And I feel like the you know, circlip and the circlip pliers. Do -do. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, the wave springs may have saved my butt. I feel like they've uh, kind of taken up a little bit of slack there was. And there's still a tiny bit of give from one of the pairs of wave springs. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna bet uh, fully five bucks this is gonna work. All right, finish assembling the case. So, this is intake. Right now it's falling all over on the back. Okay, 
We are back in business up here in the greenhouse. These layers of plastic that you can probably see flapping gently in the breeze. They ought to be full. I don't know. I'm not sure how long it'll take. But, uh, you know, it's an 8 inch fan. It moves a lot of air. It sucks fresh air from the outside through the end wall of the greenhouse and then blows it into a series of ducts that then send the air in between the two layers. The air plus ill-fated insects and uh, yeah so there's 150 feet of greenhouse both the upper roof and the lower roof and then the other half of the upper roof behind me so back in business I did have to leave the farm but I only had to leave the farm to the nearest town to buy $20 worth of bearings so I'm calling this a win and it's Friday, so it's fixed for the weekend.